Day for the MAW No Limit Championship. Cisco Silver defending against David Tower and a surprise entrance. Shark Boy was not expecting that, hence the music snafu there. Yeah, I was uh, waiting to introduce the match, and then I got somebody uh, slipped the word to me from ringside. We got another participant in this match, and it's none other than Shark Boy. He's a threat to any and all wrestling titles, especially the No Limit title of MAW. The, cr the crowd here firmly behind the champion, Mel. I mean, Cisco Silver got two formidable challengers. Uh, until recently, uh, the Puerto Rican Bull David Tarr was the MAW heavyweight champion. Uh, he lost it to Laredo Kid recently. And Shark Boy, uh, he's been all over the world, uh, wrestling for many different organizations and federations. Uh, Shark Boy's a threat to win any and all matches. Absolutely. You know, the last time I was uh, at an MAW event, I was actually doing ring announcing, like, like you are. And uh, David Tower was the heavyweight champion. And actually, I saw the match that Cisco won that earned him his MAW contract. He won a, he won a battle royal. And David Tower came out and said, congratulations, you just won an MAW contract. And now, here he is, the No Limits Champion. And I last saw Shark Boy a couple years back in the area. The fact that Shark Boy isn't with Impact Wrestling anymore hasn't slowed him down. He's in great demand everywhere. We were lucky to get him signed for this show. Uh, he has plenty of offers. He's always busy. Shark Boy acting less as a wrestler and more of a cheerleader here <laughs> with our with our crowd tonight. Looks like he's a happy medium between the uh, the fan favorite Cisco and David Tower, who clearly does not have the crowd support tonight. Looks like both men looking at David Tower as the the biggest threat and the the variable that needs to be removed most quickly in this contest. I mean, Shark Boy and Cisco Silver combined are 340, and David Tower is 280, so he almost weighs as much as those two combined. What is what is David Tower's companion's name? Are, do you know? Uh, it's an Autumn Bunner. Well, she better be careful. It's not wise for her to be climbing up on the apron when you got wrestlers of this caliber flying around all over the place. She almost got she almost got knocked off the apron by Shark Boy. Shark Boy tries to get in, but David Tower having none of it. So you can focus on Cisco Silver here. And a Puerto Rican bull is throwing his way to run now. Wait, was that a fat joke? Are you, are you, are you, are you, calling, are you calling our, our former MAW heavyweight champion fat? I'm going to tell him you said that. And, I, and we'll see what happens. David Tyre is very, very mobile for a 280-pound man. That's why he's so dangerous. He is absolutely dangerous. There's a lot of 280-pound guys, but a lot of them can barely move. Look, look at the uh, agility he has. Uh, uh, speaking of agility, look at Cisco Silver. Like a satellite a flying head scissors there. Shark Boy fears nobody. <laughs> David Tower <laughs> down down in the depths where uh, where he threw Shark Boy and now he's paying for it in spades. And he killed uh, two birds with one stone with that leap. Well, no cutouts and uh, no disqualifications in these uh, three or four way, five way type matches. So they can stay out there as long as they want. They won't be counted out. Yeah, well, we'll see how much those rules factor into this contest. For the MAW No Limit Championship, uh, champion Cisco Silver now with the advantage on the Shark Boy in the middle of the ring. Uh, David Tyre is still recuperating, getting a uh, back rub from the, the cutie pie on a bunner there at ringside. I'm a little surprised to see uh, Cisco Silver employing a ground game here. You think he would be uh, he'd be uh, on his feet or in the air the entire time, but now he, for the most part, kept Shark Boy down on the mat. Not a not an altogether unwise strategy, but clearly letting Shark Boy get to his feet is a mistake. 
they got the biggest threat out of the way in David Tower, but he's, uh, I don't know if he's just recuperating or he's just waiting to make his Again, move. Making, making comments about, about his uh, physical stature. You know, that's, that's discriminatory, Hank. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, it's a, it's a big factor in this match, his, uh, the size differential. Altar hurls at Cisco Silver the ringside. The champion doesn't have to be pinned or submitted for the title to change. Uh, so if one of these two in the ring uh, would, would defeat the other, uh, Cisco Silver would lose his title. Uh, the fighting champ. He would find that to be a massive blow, more so than if he had lost the title by having his own shoulders pinned to the mat. But that is absolutely a possibility in this contest. Yeah, that's the biggest risk with these uh, multiple person matches. You can you can lose your title without being uh, pinned or submitted. Now David Tyr got a strategy of trying to keep Cisco Silver at ringside while he works over the uh, Shark Boy who's uh, outweighed by 100 pounds. Uh, David Tyler employing a very smart strategy here at the beginning of the match. He was keeping um, Shark Boy out of the match, out of the ring, and now he's focusing on, on Shark Boy while keeping Cisco Silver out of the ring, keeping his focus on one of his opponents while keeping the other completely removed from the question. Cisco goes up. Looks like that wasn't the best choice. But he gets the assist from Shark Boy. Trouble is, Shark Boy almost caused himself to be defeated there. <laughs> he helped his opponent almost get a pin. Yeah, all alliances and matches like these have to be loose. You, you can't uh, give either of your opponents an opportunity to gain the victory, at you, even at, whether it's at your expense or not. Cisco Silver just a little too quick for Shark Boy. Maybe a little too agile for David Tower. Oh, this time he goes to the air and it pays off. Cisco with a missile drop kick, but it almost uh, gave uh, his uh, opponent uh, Shark Boy a chance to get the pin. A smart veteran move there by Shark Boy, attempting to take advantage of a situation, but uh, Cisco Silver not letting him have uh, his way there. Yeah, Cisco did all the work, but the Shark Boy almost got the gravy. Oh, well, he plants him with a dangerous spine buster there. showing some concern for their champion as he landed hard with that devastating spine buster. Bottom Bonner trying to uh, put the crowd at ease, saying that not to worry, David Tower is just fine. I don't know what you call was that, that sort it's of a, a neck breaker? Yeah, a city, a city neck breaker, not, yeah. un, not unlike the uh, the Rude Awakening. Yeah, yeah, it was made a famous by version. the yeah, made famous by the late great ravishing Rick Rude. He was always one of my heroes growing up. I I loved watching that man work. Very charismatic, very technically sound. Yeah. Definitely a huge influence on a lot of young careers. Yeah, we need some of his charisma in today's uh, WWE. It's uh, sorely lacking. Oh, Shark Boy gaining some momentum here. Running for a bulldog. A shark giving a bulldog. <laughs> to the bull. <laughs> to the bull, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now both men trying to get oh, David oh, Tower. Autumn Bunner, they're pulling the Autumn Bunner in the ring, too. Uh, oh, that's David Tower's sidekick. And that's what took, she, why it took, was so hard to pull him in. Uh, if, she, if she knows what's good for her, she will get oh, out of the ring. And Shark Boy taking a bite out of crime there. Taking a bite out of poor Autumn's tushy. <laughs> Oh, Shark Boy, the oh, show, yeah, uh, stunner there. No, oh, and a spear from Cisco Silver. That's the match, Cisco Silver retains.
They're still there, honey. <laughs> 